if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. everybody it's your girl miracle sims and you are listening to god sex and love your daily notes of inspiration the juice it is february the 19th 2022 and today the topic is the source friends i hope that you all had a great friday yesterday mine was just fine um spent majority of the day like you know hustling from home looking into some things and whatnot um, there were some things that got established for this weekend, so thank and praise God for that. I tell y'all, man, um, that's going to kind of piggyback into the conversation for today because, um, yeah, I, I feel like sometimes I'll just be thinking something, be like, you know, and then next thing I know, God done made a way <laughs> for it to happen. So thank and praise God for that. We'll get more into that in a moment. But um, let's talk about Friday. So y'all know that last night, the episode of God, Sex, and Love came out with Pastor Mark Soresby. And um, yeah, another amazing conversation, man. If you guys missed it, then you can catch the replay on our YouTube. Um, Yeah, man. Speaking of the YouTube, look, look, I know my my transitions, they're smooth, right? (laughs) Anyway, so speaking of YouTube, how about yesterday? I was able to look on there, um, you know, I saw that, you know, thank God again for Mr. Boomer, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Um, Because he's he's actually like uploading the videos now on YouTube, man. So, I mean, look, man, this guy has gone above and beyond. I truly, truly appreciate him. Amazing individual to work with. Anywho, I I noticed when he uploaded the uh, video uh, for, you know, um, Pastor Mike, Mark Soresby's video last, uh, yesterday that our YouTube, the God, Sex, and Love YouTube, has 700 videos as of yesterday. Now, it might be 701 now because I'm getting ready to tell y'all about something else, but 700 videos as of yesterday, y'all. That is amazing. Like, I can't even... I mean, now, granted, I get it. I get majority of the videos is the juice because I go, (laughs) you know, because I do this just about every day. But still, like, that is phenomenal. Phenomenal. That is, like, something that who would have thought? Again, kick this thing off in 2020. And as of yesterday, uh, which was February the 18th, 2022, we had 700 videos in the God, Sex, and on the God, Sex, and Love channel on YouTube. So plenty of content, man. There is plenty of content available. You know what I'm saying? Several segments. Y'all know that we got Daily Inspiration, The Juice. We got the weekly talk show. Uh, We have accountability. You know, we even have another um, playlist that we have dedicated to, um, you know, getting more information about the realities of porn. I kind of just put that in a a playlist for anybody that needs that type of content. Um, And and it has some of our previous guests that are, you know, talked about that specifically. That's in a playlist as well. But... Um, I guess again, a new, a new segment and a new segue here. Um, we have a, another, um, I guess, playlist that has been made and it's going to be airing. The first episode is airing tonight. It is called Explore More Together. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, um, I've teamed up with romanticblessings.com, um, to bring this new segment to you all. Um, if you guys are, you know, t- tuning in to my content and whatnot, you guys know that we talk about everything and anything on here. I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs and, you know, people that, you know, I mean, yeah, we mentioned GSL, we mentioned God, Sex, and Love sometimes in a conversation, but, you know, for the most part, the conversations aren't necessarily, like, centered around sex or anything like that. However, when it comes to this new series, you know, if, this, if that's something you need, married folk, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> to explore more together and, and look into um, some of these products and some of these things that Romantic Blessings are a- is able to offer, 
then um, be on the lookout for that segment coming out. Um, it should be a monthly segment. And so starting today or tonight, rather, um, at 7 p.m., the new segment, Explore More Together, our first episode will be airing tonight. You might want to tune in to the entire thing because there is a giveaway attached to it. So I'm letting y'all, guys, I'm letting y'all know now, you know what I'm saying? Um, tune in. Tune in tonight at 7 um, to check out our new segment. And yeah, be on the lookout for that giveaway. So amazing things happening for GSL, man. It, this has been a... Uh, it's beyond, it's beyond my, my even thoughts and, and ideas. Um, so to God be the glory, man, for everything that he has done. And I'm excited. I'm excited for this new segment. I'm excited for, for everything that God is doing. And yeah, man, super, super, super excited. Um, y'all know that today, uh, or this weekend, your, your girl has a busy weekend ahead. Um, today we're going to be going down to my hometown because my mom's hosting an event, the African Valentine's Gala. So yeah, that is going on today. And so yeah, when I wrap the juice up, y'all, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get some rest <laughs> in between now and time to get ready. Um, but yeah, that's one thing I have going on today. And then y'all know tomorrow your your girl's booked. Like I got a booking for tomorrow. Uh blessed and booked or booked and blessed, both of them. <laughs> um that's going on tomorrow. Um, shout out to Bro Bros Bites because, you know, he's going to be providing some light bites for tomorrow and whatnot as well. So, yeah, man, again, it's got to be glory for all things. Um, so, anyway, I can keep going on and on and on about all of that, y'all, but let's get into the juice. So, the interesting thing this morning is I was kind of, well, first of all, I woke up and I was, again, I was tired. Um, so by the time Dario called, I just was like, uh, he's like, you up? I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm up. And he's like, get up. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so thank God for him. Thank God for him. Um, amazing, amazing man. Such a blessing to have him. But anywho, um, yeah. So now, as you see, I'm bright out of bushy tail for y'all. So, hey, <laughs> um, but yeah, this morning I just was like, Ugh. So then by the time I finally woke up and um, I was doing my little thing, scrolling and looking and whatnot, um, there was a lot of little things that happened. I was a little distracted. Um, I thought I heard NJ, I think maybe, I don't know if he was, you know, having a bad dream or whatever, but I heard him kind of whining. So I was getting ready to go and check on him. Then he stopped whining on my way. So I was like, let me back back up. <laughs> No, let me go in there. Because if I go in there, then he's going to be, mommy, and then trying to come out. So I just was like, let me just, he, he got quiet back down. Let me back up slowly. So um, after all of that, and um, I scrolled some more social media, doing my little thing. And then um, I came across this quote. And this is what the quote says. It's a quote from this lady, Latoya Deshaun. I don't know her, but hey, somebody shared her quote. And I shared it too on the GSL page. And this is what she said. She says, when you truly grasp the notion that God is the source and everything else is a resource, the fear of losing people and things will cease. The source will always replenish what what left and the next. Excuse me. And and make the next greater. Uh resource so yeah i mean well one amen amen to that um you know and, and so but the interesting thing about it is like right after i i saw that quote i shared it and i got ready to start my uh, prayer meditation thing with the soul space app wouldn't you know that the topic for today uh for the soul space app said run to the source of every good and perfect gift so I said, okay, okay, well, I'm going, the source, I hear, I hear the source, so let's, let, you know, let, let's look into that today. So, um, yeah, so that is what I looked into. One of the first things I did was to define the word source, and that says a place, person, or thing from which something comes or can be obtained. So if we think about all of those things, think about Latoya Deshaun's quote, and think about, you know, the topic, and think about, you know, the actual definition of source. I guess the thing is, one of the things that crossed my mind this morning is that I kind of think that we, 
we know God is the source, but I don't know if we really, really understand the concept of, of that. You know what I mean? Like, because again, I, you know, and it's that works and faith thing. I know we have that conversation all the time, man. It's like, okay. I, and I, like I said, I struggle with it too. I want to be like, okay, I want to be a good steward. I want to make sure I'm putting in the work because I have the faith. I want to put in the work, you know, X, Y, and Z. And then sometimes that type of thing gets us off track to understand that God is the source and not us doing the work or whatever the case is. Um, you know, and even like yesterday, I was spending a lot of time researching and whatnot, some different um, investment opportunities and whatnot, because I'm like, hey, you know, when I have, I want to be able to do the best that I can with it in a way that it's going to, you know, benefit us down the line. You know what I'm saying? Especially, again, with my current situation, with me hustling from home, with me only doing this, you know, and everything like that. Um, and like I said, I want to keep this going. I mean, obviously, you know, 700 plus videos, you know what I'm saying? And that's just, that's just the YouTube. Um, that's not even anything else that I'm doing. But, um, but regardless of that, it's just like, man, you know, um, I feel like God is really doing something and, and blessing. So I really just don't want to give that up if that makes any sense. Like if it, you know, um, now, to a certain extent, I know in the back, I want to say maybe like last year, I would kept questioning the, the idea of like what is going back to normal going to look like. But I mean, to me, this is normal. This is my normal now. Um, like I don't, I really don't have any desire to do anything else, if that makes any sense. Like I don't have any desire to go back to gig, gig life or nine to five life or whatever, like um, not that I ever had like nine to five life, but you get what I'm saying. Um, so with that being said, it's just like, all right, well, Lord, you've established some things in this season. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep these things going and growing, you know? Um, but that's the thing, I guess, you know, putting it back on him, letting him, uh, you know, understanding that he is the source and not me, you know? Yeah. I've been able to come across some different things that has blessed and I'm like, all right, these are things I never heard of or things I didn't know about. And now I do. So, you know, I'm able to try to, you know, I guess I, as they say, take advantage to a certain extent, um, on new information, right. And see what that would do. But, um, but even with that, it's like, I still have to acknowledge at the end of the day that God is the source, um, not me, not any of the things that, you know, I'm coming across whatever the case is like, it's a resource. And one of the things that helped me to um, change my mind about money and all of this stuff is uh, something that my dear friend, MD Brian, I'm calling you all the way out, sis. Um, she shared with me, I want to say, I don't know when, at least a few years ago, but we, we were like, <laughs> it's like we're pen pals because we, we text more than anything. Um, and she's always traveling and whatnot. And so, you know, we'll, we'll do like updates and random like messages and whatnot, just kind of updating each other on life and, and checking in on each other and things like that. And, um, at some point, I think it, it was between 2019 and now, <laughs> but anyway, at some point, um, she mentioned that, you know, money comes and goes, um, uh, and, that that kind of she said more but i can't remember every detail at the moment but um what she was saying to me kind of made me really shift my mindset when it came to you know finances and whatnot like because yeah money does come and go and it's a it's a tool right money is a tool um it's not like the end all be all and whatnot and you know, at, at the end of the day, like, uh, you know, this other lady's quote said, like, when we realize that God is the source is not and not money, right? Money is a resource, not the source. Then, um, again, it'll shift our mind. It'll shift our perspective and um, and everything like that. So, again, I don't know if that's something you're struggling with, friend. I don't know where you are with all of this. But, hey, I, I guess that's what I've been reminded today, that God is the source. Go to him the least you could do is try it and see, you know what I'm saying? The least you could do is, is go to him in prayer, um, and, and let him know your needs, let him know. He knows already. <laughs> he already knows, but the thing is, it's the communication. So go to him and let him know, Hey Lord, 
you know that I need X, Y, and Z. You know that, you know, our bills need to be paid. You know that I, that, you know, we need food on the table. You know that we need clothes on our back. You know that we need X, Y, and Z. Cause all, the Bible says that he's going to provide these things for us. Um, and, and, and it, the Bible also says the reason why we don't have the certain things is because we don't ask for it. So just ask, just ask, you know, um, now, are you going to get it immediately? Maybe not. You know what I'm saying? Um, it might be like the gentleman said last night. It, you know, I love that quote that he said where it was like, you know, he asked God for something and, and instead of getting that, God gave him the seeds to get it. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing. You know, it's probably going to be a process or whatever, but get this process started by asking. <laughs> um, you know, I'm just telling you what it's saying here. But let me give you guys some verses here. Um you know, because obviously I've shared a lot of information, you know, and personal thoughts with y'all this morning. So here we go. Philippians 4 and 19, it says, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. There you go. It says according to his riches, y'all. Like, not ours, not any of any of that, you know. Um, let me keep going. Psalm 54 and 4, it says, Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the upholder of my life. Man, we should make that our prayer today. Like that, that is a bold statement. And that is a, a beautiful statement, I believe as well. Like, you know, again, when we really, truly realize that God is, is the source, then like, uh, like sis said, you know, <laughs> that, um, uh, well, I want to, I want to quote a right here, y'all. Um, Everything and um, the fear of losing people and things will cease. I mean, you know, that's on another level thinking about the whole people thing and, and stuff like that. <laughs> so I won't get too deep into that part. But still, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I concur, as they say. Um, more verses in the Go Deeper section. Plenty to reflect on. Hopefully get you all started with this idea of God being the source and, and what you should do and, and different things like that. But another verse I want to share this morning is Psalm 34 and 10. And it says, The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. So, um, well, I guess that's something to think about. It might be a little bit of pulp. <laughs> Just a little bit. A little, little sour pulp. Where, you know, you might not like that part. Um but the thing I was thinking that might be Pope is uh, that it says here you're like no good thing. So you might need to establish if what you want is good because, <laughs> you know, uh, that could be something that's holding up some of your progress as well. Like if you're trying, if you're seeking God for some, some things that ain't, you know, according to his will and whatnot, I mean, you might not get that so quick or you might will, but it might not go the way you want it to go, you know, so. I think, you know, that that's one thing to think about on the side there. But, um, but yeah, it says here, the Lord, uh, those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. So, you know, um, there you go. Seek him, ask him and let him do his thing. Y'all, um, that's the juice. That's the juice this morning. Uh, again, more verses in the go deeper section to peruse and let marinate on your heart, souls and minds. But the Bible verse of today is Hebrews 12 and 14. It says, follow peace with all men, holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration and juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tonight on Explore More Together. For those of you all that want to explore the S a little bit more in God's sex and love, right? <laughs> but if not, then I guess you guys, uh, I'll see you all on Monday at the Lord's will. Bye-bye. Hello, Charmers. Visit ttcboutique.com for the latest in fashion accessories. Twice the Charm, the source of women clothing.